Hey guys, George at Soundtracks here, and I hope all of you are staying safe and sane and getting a lot of model railroading done during all the things that we're going through in our world right now. We really wish that we could be at Train Fest enjoying with all of you, but of course, because we cannot, we're happy to do this to be able to bring our information and news to you with new announcements, which of course, as many manufacturers have, we do have a new announcement. Now, first off, let me introduce myself. My name is George Bogatuck. My primary function with the company is product specialist, and I help out in the sales and the support departments. And I also lend a helping hand when it comes to engineering products and, and coming up with features and things like that. So I definitely listen to what you guys say, and we do put it into our product. So we're really, really excited to be able to bring you a brand new product that you'll be able to use. Now let's go ahead and get this decoder started so you can hear what it sounds like. So of course you hear that familiar 567 and you're seeing a GE locomotive in front of you. So of course, what does that mean? That means I've got a really great secret and a surprise for you guys. So for all of you end scalers out there that have been asking for soundtracks to build a drop-in decoder, I introduce to you the TSU KN1. As you can see now, we have a locomotive drop-in decoder for end scale. So we are very excited to be able to offer this feature and to offer Soundtrack Tsunami 2 in a better format to help you end scalers enjoy Model Railroader's Reader's Choice Award winner for favorite sound decoder two years in a row. So first off, let's take a look at the decoder. Now we're going to give you the TSU KN1 decoder. Now this will be a drop-in decoder that's good for all of the Kato wide body models. That includes the F unit that you're seeing here in front of me, the EMD E series units, so all of the Kato E units that they offer, the EMD F40 PH, as well as an Alco PA1, and the GE P42. Now all of those respective prime movers are gonna be preloaded into this decoder, so that that way, all you have to do is select a CV and you'll be able to match the prime mover to the locomotive model that you've installed it into. Now this KN1 is designed as a quick drop-in and you're going to get all of the Tsunami 2 features including 44 different air horns, 50 different bells to choose from, and different air compressors to sound as well as other choices to make your decoder match more closely to the model you've installed it into. Now in this package, not only will you get the KN1 drop-in decoder Tsunami 2, but we're going to give you two LEDs, and these are 3 millimeter LEDs, and they're not soldered to the board because each of those different locomotives have the LEDs soldered at different lengths off of the ends of the board. So this way you can match your model more closely and be able to do this in a single compact package for all of you guys. Now also we're going to give you a very, very small speaker. Now I will tell you, this is going to be a great addition to the Soundtracks product line because as you can see here, this speaker is extremely small by comparison. This is about a third of the size of our small Mini Cube 2. So we will be adding these to our product line soon, but as for now, they will be coming with the KN1. And you can imagine how much sound would come out of this but it's amazing this is stock volume out of this model we're gonna back it up here a little bit and let you hear that prime mover sound it's got an amazing amount of bass for a speaker that size so we are very excited about this speaker find and we'll bring the model to a stop. We'll be including a small piece of wire and other materials that you may need to install the decoder into your model. Now, as I mentioned, this has all of the Tsunami 2 features built into it, including the sound selections. Now, one of the really great features you're gonna see is our refined Hyperdrive 2 motor control. You can see how slow this model is moving at speed step one. 
And then when I enable switching mode, which takes our commanded speed step and cuts it into one half, you're actually going to see it slow down even slower. Look at how fine that motor is moving. Now one of the other features that you get now with the Tsunami 2 in this drop-in model for N-Scale is our reactive dynamic digital exhaust. And what this does is this feature reads the load on the motor and will adjust the notching accordingly. So that that way you get an interactive dynamically changing prime mover sound as your locomotive traverses the layout. So we're going to go ahead, put some resistance on here. And you can hear that locomotive prime mover notching up. And then when I release, you can hear that prime mover drop back down. So it's reading the load on the motor. Now this is calibrated to the motor of the locomotive. So following the process uh, outlined on our YouTube channel, you'll be able to set this up really quickly and easily in your N-Scale model. Now some of the other features that our Tsunami 2 has been known for is our braking and momentum features. Now of course, momentum is not something new. It helps add inertia and makes the locomotive seem like it's running a heavy load. So we're gonna go ahead and run here in reverse. I'm gonna jump up to speed step 10. And you can see that it doesn't immediately jump. Now, without ever touching the throttle, I'm going to apply the brakes. And you can see that the brakes are applied. Now, this is the sound of the independent brake, which are the sounds of the brakes that are actually on the locomotive, which, as its name implies, are used when the locomotive is independent or running light or when you're switching back and forth in a yard. Now, we also have the sound of the train brake. And the train brake, you take F12 and turn it on, and it will change the braking mode. The train brake distributes the braking effort through all of the cars on your locomotive. And, of course, the locomotive braking sounds change. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. And when we hit F12, you're going to hear the prime mover notch up as it works to charge the train line. Now you'll hear that compressor cycle and run for about 30 seconds. Now in the real world it takes about 10 to 15 minutes to actually charge the train line. But now when we start to move forward, we're going to go ahead and move forward speed step 10. We're going to release the brakes. And now when I hit the brake application, the F11, you're going to hear the different sound and you're actually going to see the locomotive come to a stop. Now this is going to be at a slower rate than the independent brake was. So each of these braking rates are independently adjusted. Now of course with the Tsunami 2, you're going to get our very, very popular 7-band equalizer, just like you have in your home stereo system. So when you enable the equalizer, you're able to boost the speaker's strengths and minimize its weaknesses but also you're able to boost some of those low frequencies. Now this speaker actually, as I mentioned, has an amazing bass response for a speaker that small. So I've already preset a seven band equalizer curve into the decoder. So now all I'm gonna do is enable it and you're gonna hear that change in the prime mover sound when I enable this. And you can kind of hear how that mid-low range is really boosted in. And now, of course, we have our air horn and our bell. And all of those sounds are affected, but you really get that low end. So now let's go ahead and take a run. We'll release our brakes. Listen to that low end. That's amazing coming out of that model. We're really excited about this. We'll bring it to a stop. We'll set our brakes. Now with Tsunami 2, every sound effect has its own volume control, and that is not just the horn, the bell, and the prime mover, but the air compressor, all of the different sounds, including the dynamic braking, the independent braking, the automatic brake application, even sounds all the way down to Fireman Ed's toilet flush. Now with the Tsunami 2, you do get 16 independent sound channels. That means the decoder can play up to 16 sounds all at the same time. This way, you don't have to have certain sounds override or get shut down so other sounds can play. For example, the air compressor is always going to play just like it would in the real world, even though you're blowing your horn or ringing your bell. So you don't have to worry about that. 
Now remember, Soundtracks has been in the business for over 30 years now, and we are really excited to be the leaders in the industry and be able to bring this out. So guys, be sure to stay tuned. If you're not subscribed to our newsletter, subscribe to our newsletter at Soundtracks.com and be sure to be no signed up so that way you get notified when we have our new formats coming down the line. We're working for you guys, so we are excited to be able to introduce this and more coming for N-Scale. So guys, we are very happy about this. And then for you HO guys, don't worry, we haven't forgotten you. We've got some other stuff coming up. Now guys, one of the other things we're very excited to be able to bring to you, it, and this is a recent announcement we've made, but we wanna make sure to reiterate this during our train fest season. And that is our TSU Big Steam that has the actual recordings of the big boy number 4014. Now, as you may notice, this model is not 4014, it's 4023. And I actually have a short installation conversion on how I took this model from a TSU 1000 to a TSU 2200 for big steam. Now, with the 4014 running, we were very, very lucky and very excited to be able to get an opportunity to record this iconic locomotive as it's running in today's world. Now, some of the sounds you're gonna get on this locomotive is the sound of the air compressor, You're also gonna get the sound of the 4014's big boy whistle. The 4014 bell. The 4014 dynamo. And other sounds such as the feed water system and more that you're going to get that was actually recorded off of the 4014 that's preloaded into this TSU Big Steam. Now you can buy this at our website at Soundtracks.com and at select retailers now. So be sure to check it out. The TSU Big Steam comes in three different formats. The TSU 1100 for UN scalers out there. The TSU 2200 as a universal install for things like these, this Broadway Limited BLI Precision Craft Models Big Boy. Uh, also the MTH or any of the other ones and the TSU 21P NEM if you missed out on the Athern model that had comes equipped with the big boy sounds. Now we were really excited last summer to be able to have the opportunity to go out with the UP crew and record the 4014. Now for those of you who've ordered the Athern model we are very proud to be able to supply them with a decoder that has these sounds in it. So stay tuned and we hope to hear and see from you guys soon. Thank you very much, and again, we hope everybody stays safe and sane, and let's go have fun and play with trains.